Hello everyone, Sigmulator here. Welcome back to Horizon Forbidden West. Someone here to talk to. Been, uh, getting a few side bits out of the way. Getting some of these contracts filled out. Nothing too major. So I really should be focusing on pushing the story forward, oh, but be let's see Over what this here. what this dude wants. Aloy. Oh, this is a grand day. Greatness is in the air. Or will be soon. Greatness, huh? Behold, I call it Morland's amazing elevating orb. Inspired by the floating spheres the Banuk use for their clan contests. When aloft, this grand construction will be a spectacle henceforth unseen by the eyes of the living. Unburdened by gravity, it'll be a floating beacon, drawing people from great distances to our destination of wonders and amusement. Except... We're missing one key piece. Of course you are. A mechanical burner. Small, magnificent design, old world ingenuity at its peak. We found it when we opened up more of the ruins below and discovered numerous statues of strange winged serpents. One such statue had the burner in its mouth. Oh, no doubt part of some ancient fire-filled spectacle. Oh, Aloy, it's perfect for the orb, but a swarm of burrowers chased us out before I could grab it. Could you get it? Please? Okay, Morland, you got me. I'm curious. I'll get it for you. <laughs> I knew I could count on you. Okay, okay. Head down to where we fought that Tide Ripper after you drained all the water. When you get down there, head right and look for a room to the side. The statue you want is up high, looming like a nightmare. Oh, and if you'd like a smoother descent into the ruins, use the elevator. Just head back into the building and go upstairs. Got it. I'll see what I can do. Stupendous. Thank you. I await your return. <laughs> I was just down there. Oh, well. We're going to bring Vegas back. I suppose it's going to be worth it. Well, I say that, I've never been to Vegas. Right, I can use a lift, apparently. If you've got strike pieces, I've got the ball. Ah, yes. This would have been easier. That is a plus. All right, back we go. Uh, make sure I've got. I really need to go on a hunt and start killing random machines for parts. Hopefully I can avoid the machines that are down here. Okay. Oh no, he said he said there were burrowers down here, didn't he? This looks like the place. No burrowers though. Hmm. Suspicious. Event. Cool. There's a crate in that room. But how to get to it? I imagine the crate. 
Or great, rather. All right, maybe not then. <laughs> ah, not one of those. Hold on, hold the hold the damn phone. Oh, I'm an idiot. This could be useful. Obviously, I'm going to have to use this for something. Drag it out here for now. Ah, perfect. Lovely jubbly. That's where I came through. That's fine. Okay. Gotta get higher up to reach the statue. And that must be the statue. Okay. Come on, gotta be able to at least grab that, surely. Come on, Aloy, seriously. There we go. Perfect. There we go. Ah, I see you. Happy days. Now to get the burner. Ah. Huh. Made it. Whoa. Well, I got the burner. Better take it back to Moreland. There we go, I thought this was going too easy.
Damn it. Let me just, just scavenge these for parts. I am low. A lot of supplies. Where do I get blast paste from? Maybe I get that from a specific machine. Here you go, Morland. I've got your thing for you. You're back! Did you get it? Do you have the device? Oh, please say you do. Oh, we're so close to something truly majestic. Here you go, Morland. Yes! Yes! Thank you. I hope getting it wasn't too much trouble. <sighs> Actually, no. It's so compact. Oh, the ancients knew how to make them. It should fit the housing like a dream. Just need to cinch up the blaze leads and away we go. Uh, we? Make the maiden flight without the maiden who played such a vital part? My mother raised me better than that. You should have the honor of seeing the world in a way that no one alive has ever seen it. How about it? How can I say no to that? Exactly. He's invented the hot air balloon. Good job, Moreland. Nothing to worry about. We have a sturdy tether connecting us to the ground. Pure Osirum craftsmanship. Well, time to give it a little flame. Aha! We ascend! Behold, the world beneath our feet. Ah, the sky at our fingertips. The burner heats the air inside, which gets lighter than what surrounds it. So we rise. Indeed. We're powered by hot air. Just like Stemmer. <laughs> but don't tell him I said that. Not we bad. The cusp of history. The first successful Osirum flight. There have been other attempts? Oh, yeah. The history of Osirum flights is fascinating. And, you know, violence and frequently incendiary. I feel like you should have mentioned this before. Ah, oh, the others failed because their machines were too heavy and complex. They were begging to crash. Not here. Just a pilot compartment, blaze, a burner, the orb, and a tether. Within simplicity, there is perfection. Well, at least, you know, less chance of exploding. Very nice. <laughs> you know, if Abaddon were here, he'd be drunk like a wastrel crippling fear of heights that said he gets poetic when drunk he has evocative rhymes about all his various ledgers a little known fact osram poetry started as work songs and forges around the claim <laughs> just a bit of turbulence we shall tame these wild skies yet <sighs> this feels like more than turbulence uh, for the record, that was not part of the planned aerial experience. Oh, cool. What is that? Uh, yeah, I think our tether just came undone. Moreland! Oh. <laughs> That's just a small setback. Nothing to worry about! Um. Holland. Get 
Look on the other side. I've got to clear out these machines. I can definitely find a use for this. Okay, that's the last one. Better check on Morland. Remember, Morland, I'll get you out. Hey, Boy. Great gears, you're alive. Uh, would you mind applying a little leverage? Hey, you all right? Oh, oh, when that maelstrom hit us, everything fell apart. I remember dropping, and then you tumbled out, and... It's okay. We're alive. You know, in terms of Osram aviation, <laughs> we're pioneers. And they say it's a cursed field of study. <laughs> Do you need help getting back to camp? Yeah, no, I can make it. But I need to get the burner. It fell off when we were attacked. I mean, I can replace everything else. Except that. Okay, let's go. Did you have any idea what hit us? I, mean, I couldn't get a good look at it in that maelstrom. Between the screeching and the lightning, it was probably a storm bird. Woof. <laughs> Woof. Sorry, there was something I needed to do. You were talking before I left? Now, as I was saying before. Woof. Hideous machine. No, at least it vanished with the storm. Oh. Aloy, would you mind finding a way across? I think All I found us a something bridge. something to bridge the gap. Huh? There we go, but first, our efficient and effective. <laughs> Make a fine Osirum. There we go. Grab these. Perfect. All right, we're good to go. I see it. The burner is right below that storm bird. Ah, yeah. I really need to stop making predictions on what's safe. Gotta be the same one that brought us down. We'll have to kill it to get the burner. You ready? Ready as I'll ever be. Oh, damn it, another storm bird to deal with.
Ah, got ya. Are you doing this droppy drop? Yeah. Come on down, you come, you big git. Oh shit! Yes. It's dead. Steel to my soul. <sighs> oh. Aloy, uh, over here. When you have a moment. Yeah, hold Steel on. Steel to my soul. Oh. oh, I think that Stormbird had it in for me, or really fancied my orb. There we go. Ah, <laughs> oh, just a hairline crack in the casing. Yeah, I can clean that up with a bit of spot welding. Assuming the ground doesn't open up and swallow us, I, I'm gonna say we're finally safe. Yet again, you risked your life for me and my ambitions. I wish I had Stemmer's words to thank you properly. 
If it helps, if you've inspired me to draft up a new improved orb, something that unites spectacle and survival. Uh, I'm honored, but I think I'll let Abaddon and Stemmer have the next flight. I'll see you back at the camp. There's so much to think about, so many ideas to explore. Until we meet again, may your tools never break, and may your imagination never find its limits. You too, Marland. That's a good quote. I like that quote. Bloody hell. I seriously need to... The hell do I need... Get my blasting paste up to scratch where I can... Chop up all my explodey ammo. Got a rebel camp over there. That's a campfire nearby, that's good. Yay, campfire. And perfect timing. That's one of those big elephant things. Oh yeah, I started doing a, a thing to recover salvage, but uh, the thing I was dealing with was too powerful. Maybe we'll catch that in the next episode, but for now, thank you very much for taking the time to watch this, guys. If you liked it, like, subscribe, ding that bell. I've been Sigma Later, this has been Horizon Forbidden West, and I'll catch you next time. Take care now.